，中美系唔系注定一战呢？谈到近年嘅中美关系，唔少分析都会引用修昔底德陷阱呢个概念，系美国哈佛大学冷战问题专家格雷厄姆艾利森喺二零一二年提出。指身崛起嘅大国必然会挑战现存嘅大国，现存大国因为惧怕并回应威胁，使战争无可避免。中美系唔系难逃一战？不如听一听原作者嘅解读。If you look at carefully at the book, you'll see the next to last chapter is called Twelve Clues for Peace. So what I try to do is look at the sixteen cases that are studied in the book over the last five hundred years. Twelve failures and four successes, and say, well, what can we extract from this? What can we learn from it that we might adapt、okay. and apply in the current situation?、Mm-hmm. And the final chapter is called, where do we go from here? Which points to the search for a strategy.、Mm-hmm. I think that's something that we're still on. Thucydides was not a fatalist. When he wrote the book about war was inevitable, he meant almost inevitable. Or inevitable, if you. If all that the leaders could manage is diplomacy as usual or statecraft as usual, but as he says in the introduction to his book, why why am I writing this book? I'm writing this book because I'm trying to point out the mistakes that were made that led to this conclusion, in the hope that people in the future will learn from this these lessons and adapt them and do better. Gatlinger's original purpose. 系通过分析导致战争嘅历史案例，揾到通往和平嘅道路。作为世界第二大经济体，中国一直主张和平崛起，例如透过“一带一路”国际合作倡议，以共商、共建、共享精神，与其他国家共谋发展，分享发展成果。反观美国，视中国为假想敌，以损人利己嘅方式处事。与合作共赢嘅世界大潮流背道而驰，要规避修昔底德陷阱，美国必须改变思维。